then how do we deal emotionally and psychologically, <clears throat> psychologically with, uh, with those changes, with realizing that the world that we were taught to know as, as children and grew up knowing in many cases is gone, um, severely uh, impacted or reduced, um, how we make sense of that emotionally and uh, basically how, how to be a human being in this, this time and age. So that's what I'm working on now. How do we sustain our, um, the health of our, our emotional and psychological health? You know, how do we, um, how do we sustain or, or uh, our joy and our hope and our um, sense of gratitude and those kinds of things in the face of um, living in a, what I, I use the term, a disappearing world. So many things are disappearing, you know, how do we sustain a sense of, um, wonder and joy and and gratitude um, as we engage with the reality of what's happening um, acknowledge those emotions and um, use them to uh, actually as fuel f to engage with these um, these problems i think that because we're afraid of fear and sadness and anxiety and grief and those kind of what we think of as dark or negative even emotions that we avoid them and so therefore we avoid engaging with the reality of, of what's happening to the world that we love and I actually think that uh, engaging with those emotions would actually um, be an opportunity to live lives of greater happiness and joy and um, more realistic hope for example um, so we're really missing out on a, a source of of real energy and strength, um, sustainability of, of spirit, sustainability of, of the soul. Of you. I do still see um, that um, environmental or sustainability um, issues are not as integrated into the curriculum as I, would, as I would like to see them, as I think they need to be. I think there's a, I think there's a sense, there's not yet a sense <clears throat> At Hamlin, just like there isn't in the in the general community, that climate change is the greatest threat to humanity that we've ever known, uh, and that we should be um, doing everything we can to prepare our students to be leaders in a world where that's a reality. Try not to make it. I, I definitely try to make it a, a meaningful, exciting class. And I, the theme I've been using this semester has been. Uh, how to live a meaningful life in a disappearing world. We ought to be looking at every subject through uh, through this lens of recognizing that um, we're part of the natural fabric of the world and not separate from it and um, that it influences us, everything we do, and that we influence it. Uh, it is possible to live a meaningful life. And what does that mean? You know, what does it mean to to live with meaning, um, uh, but also, well, at the same time, engaging with the reality of, of, of life um, and life of the planet. Um,